This is a quick start uh, to DocShell video. In this video, we're going to um, create or build the uh, provider project that you can download from the website. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be a Telerec uh, provider. And then we're going to build a quick light switch project uh, just to show you how easy it is. So the first thing you want to do is actually um, open the uh, uh, provider project and give it a quick build. Uh, to do that, you're going to have to reference your third-party controls. So if you look in the references, you will need to reference the following third-party controls for Telerac, which is controls, docking, input, navigation, ribbon view, and a theme of your choice. So once you have that, you just give it a quick uh, build. And with that build, now you have, um, you can close that project down. Just like that. And within the bin folder, you will now have an assembly, uh, which is the assembly that you need to reference in your doc shell application. So let's now create a doc shell application in Visual Basic. Okay, so we're going to do a vb.net. So we'll open up, sorry, a new project, uh, Visual Basic. We're going to call this one, sorry, we'll call this one um, uh, VB demo. Okay, and we'll just add a quick data source, add a database, and in this case what we'll do is we'll just add the Northwind database that you can download. And we'll include all the tables that are part of that database. Great, and so we have our data tables. We'll just close that down. And we'll add two screens. And first one we'll add is a customer's list, showing customer orders. We can save that. And then we're going to add, close that down. And then we'll add a list orders for the orders, orders detail. I'll add a few more screens and come back. Okay, I've just added a couple of search screens for both of those. So what we'll do now is we'll change our navigation. And in our navigation right now we have a uh, task screen. We'll call this one home. And we'll add another group. And in this group we'll call this one search. And in this one we'll add our search screens. And then we'll also remove them from here. And the next thing you want to do is uh, add the light switch extension for DocShell. With that added, then we just have to select the soft landing DocShell as the shell and hit save. Once we've saved the project, we can flip over to file view, go into the client project, select the client project, and change to show all files to get your references. And here, what we need to do is add a reference to that provider we just built. So navigate to wherever you built your provider. In this case, it was a debug version of that. Locate the provider and add the provider to your project. You also have to add the third-party assemblies, the same third-party assemblies that uh, you added before. So um, add those as well. So as you can see here, it's the same six assemblies that we added uh, to our provider project when we built our provider project. Okay, so once we have that, then we can just uh, build our client. Great. The, now that the client's built, uh, we can uh, collapse the show all files. Uh, add a solution folder, and let's call this one Doc Shell. This allows us to keep things organized. And we'll add another folder in here. And we'll call this one Model. And then within the model folder, we're going to add a new light switch dock shell uh, navigation and layout model. It's very important to remove this one. That's uh, defaults. So the name is always light switch navigation and layout or layouts. Once you add that to your model, you'll see that it'll come up here. And if you click on the uh, model itself, you need to uh, right click and refresh. And so what it'll do is it'll go uh, and in, 
enumerate through your project, through your light switch project, and it will um, discover all of the light switch uh, elements associated to your project um, and any of the um, uh, provider elements uh, inside your provider project itself. And it should come up looking like this. If you don't see these little colored uh, elements, regions uh, within your um, output, the chances are that you forgot to include the step about including your provider project within your client references or you didn't compile your project. So make sure that uh, you do see these before you continue. Next step is just simply add a root shell. The root shell represents, uh, there's good videos to explain this, but the root shell represents a um, the really the 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 XAML that represents the um, starting point of your application or the shell of your application. So there's we ship uh, each provider has a shell root default shell root, and we now need to connect our navigation containers to our shell. We need to connect our content container controls to our shell. So now that all of these are connected, the last step we need to do is simply go in and put some icons around some of our uh, navigation buttons. So I will just maximize this a little bit, pin this back, scroll this over, <coughs> and let's change the display text. So this is the button that will be part of the ribbon tab itself. So customers customer list and we can say this is the list of customers and then we will add a icon so uh, if you watch the introductory video there's much more detail uh, as to what these represent but to do it you simply pick that and then you navigate to a to choose your icon itself and we import we open up our night some icons say okay do the same thing for our orders again we switch it to be a local icon and choose a icon for orders. Uh, let's just pick uh, for orders. Let's see, we'll pick this guy here. It's okay. And then we need to do the same thing for the uh, search screens themselves. So if you see here, our search screens are here. So we'll just pick that. Search icon. And we'll just randomly pick some icons here so uh, pick that and pick another icon for this one and I think uh, that will do okay and so I got those sorted out just put the text on this one search customers and also Make sure that this is set to local. Okay, that's very good. The last step we need to do is to grab a license key from the website and paste it into this uh, field here. To get to this field here, you just simply click on this background, this uh, uh, yellow background, and you'll see this license key field. So to get a license, an evaluation license key, you simply go to the uh, downloads screen. If you find in the download screen, you will find a link here on step five. And this is your license key. And all you do is you simply take this, copy it, go back to your project, click on the background, and paste that into the license key field. So there's your evaluation key uh, set. And you should be ready to go. So hit save. If there are any errors, you, at this point you will see errors um, pop up, if there are any. And that looks good. And so if we hit run, project will build, and we should see our first stock shell, uh, bb.net, light switch application.
So if you get stuck on this screen here loading, chances are you've missed a step. It should go away and it should come up with, in this case, uh, a screen, eval screen. And as you can see here, uh, we have uh, a background, um, which is part of the shell, uh, which you can modify and change. This is just a, an example um, that you can choose to uh, include or not include. Um, then we have the home tab that we uh, um, edited within the navigation, the light switch navigation and the search. And you can see that the icons that are here are the ones that we chose. And if you click uh, that, this uh, you can also change. This is just a busy indicator control from Telerec. And you can see that uh, uh, the uh, screen comes up. And now um, you can move it around. You can dock it, pin it um, to the side if you like. Uh, and then orders list as an example. You can open that up. There you go. So, um, and if I flip over to here, I can add search and so forth. Um, so what would be nice is uh, not only to, um, uh, uh, you know, have a, these two here, but what we'll do is we'll combine the two tabs so that this tab and this tab are sharing the same docking area. Uh, just that the ribbon tabs will be different. So let's do that real quick. And so what we want to do is we want to go back to our model. And in the model right now, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see that um, for the search ribbon, which has the two uh, search orders and search customers screens associated to it, it has its own dock. So what we'll do is we'll just delete that dock. And we can see here that the home dock here uh, is up here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a grab the link tool and link it up to the home dock and then press run. And what we've done now is we've created a shared uh, docking control for both ribbon tabs. So rather than when we go to the search, we see separate uh, screen screen areas for the search versus the home tab. Um, they will now be shared. So now if we hit the customer list, and as we're hitting the customer list, what we'll do is we'll go to the search. And now you can see that the screen is still rendering uh, in here. But um, if I go search, you can see now search orders comes up here uh, and search customers. So if I hit search customers, it also comes up here. <coughs> and also um, these are uh, dockable as well. So I can close this guy down. I'll close this guy down, close this guy down. I go back to here and if I go customer list and say search, search customers, you can see that the search customer screen comes up here. And you can float it around and you can click on this. And you can see that I have that uh, ability to kind of move things around if I wanted to and fix this to uh, be whatever I want. Of course, hit save. And of course, you can, you can change the uh, you know, the location of, of the, um, the buttons itself, right? So if you don't want the buttons up here, you can uh, change them um, and put them anywhere you want. Uh, save. <coughs> so that's, uh, that's Stockshell. Uh, hopefully uh, that gives you a good insight into how quick and easy it is to build a light switch application using Dockshell and uh, to be able to take advantage of uh, uh, easily take advantage of docking container controls um, such as uh, those that are available from third-party controls such as uh, Telerec and developments, DevExpress and so forth. Thank you and have a nice day.